Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. You might be deck deck and today we're playing some more Planet Zoo. So, in our last episode, we went and got the Dahl sheep in. It is middle mass button I use. I don't know why I thought it was right click, but anyway, I never use right click. Um, that was just a complaint from last episode, me being an idiot. Uh, yeah, we got the Dahl sheep in. We've got a new little staffing area, a new little shopping and food court area. We built this habitat ready, and as you may notice, I went and got all the screens and stuff in ready. Because why do we want to keep watching the same tediousness? Oh, hello there, Gold Timberwolf. You're a little bit on the smaller side, but you're more fertile and you're younger. We're just going to get you, couple, into there. Lovely. So we can unpause the game straight away. I honestly thought the game had crashed them. I hope it's not. Wealf. We don't want a timber wealf. We want a timber wolf. You need to be every six months. We need to get a new keeper. And you need a new work zone. Or you need a work zone. Timber wolf. That one, that one, that one, that one. Wow. Honestly, better typing if I don't look. What problem we've got? Rat research is complete. Is that one of them finished? The giant land tiger snail is finished. Wonderful news. We might as well finish off the golden poison frog next. Giant land snail. Where for art thou? Nope. Nope. That's it. Come and lie down, Luna. She's sick of hearing those words. She says, all you do all day is record, and then when I'm not recording, I'm playing Rust with my brother. We've not been raided this week. It's lucky. I rage quit last week because we got offline raided, and I wasn't a happy bunny. Yes, 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 yes. I know they're incorrectly placed. Placed? Placed. They're not incorrectly placed. We're just waiting for the animals to get in there. Here they come. Right, first things first. I'm going to get all these speakers I didn't finish off. I'm an idiot. I tried so much to get them all finished before I started. I've one there, one there. As you can see, I've gone a little bit overboard with the speakers on the path on the top bit. But we want to keep that education rating high it's going to be one of the gold star criteria and if we can tick it off straight away then happy days it is something i do advise by the way if you play in the scenarios yourself don't just look at what you're heading for now look at what you're heading for in the future because you never know you might end up screwing yourself going for one of the early targets like i've done <clears throat> um it was the actual final scenario for the normal story. Where I'd given all the animals loads of space. And then by the end of it we needed like 20 animals. All crammed into the tiny, tiny zoo that we had. And it was a little bit of a nightmare. If I'd have known that beforehand. They'd have got much smaller uh, habitats. And they wouldn't have been allowed to breed. But we, luckily we saved that one by getting a huge safari with everything all crammed into one space not ideal but it did work right we're gonna have to follow this all the way around so i don't miss any because i've got them i tried to put them on top of the posts they're not quite on top um you're not even anywhere near where i wanted you to be there slightly better same as yesterday's episode um that's confusing. Same as yesterday's episode, I am still expecting a phone call. So, if I have to mute myself and uh, sit and talk for a minute, apologies. But it's to do with my car. It's gone in for its MOT and service today. It normally passes. <clears throat> it's passed every other year. The um, mechanic who I go to always says how good my little cars are. Because I only get little cheap cars. Admittedly, this one wasn't quite so cheap. But I've had it for nearly 10 years now. So... I've got my money's worth out of it. Uh, but yeah. Did I get any speakers along this side? Yes, I did. We'll double check in a minute that I've got all of them. Like I say, I've gone a little bit overkill with it. But 
we want to keep that education rating high. Hey, if you can't even see the speakers because they're embedded in the floor, even better for me, right? Oh, the placement is horrible. The placement is horrible. We should be able to surely make something that makes the speakers look a little bit better, like a little standing post or podium. I bet we could. We could make something like that. I'm not really that fussed about doing it at the minute. Maybe if I do actually do a second franchise zoo, like I keep saying I will, um, we'll do a little bit more building design. Maybe. It is very slow and it's a little bit tedious, but I have got some ideas that I'd like to try out. And rather than just always focusing on getting more animals in, you've got no power, so you can just go bye byes. There we go. Um, yeah, it could be something else we do. Education. There's massive overlapping around there, but it'll be fine. Let's get you sorted out then. It's alright. The shirt's not sitting right. There we go. I'll probably move again in a second, but anyway. Um, so you just need loads of sa Not sand. Why would you need loads of sand? You need loads of snow. Timber wolves, timber wolves. There we go. We're going to need loads of coolers in here. Get some decent overlap. And we can go about there. About there. About there. It's not going to quite overlap as much as I want. But that should hopefully do it. I wanted to click. Click on the timber wolf, damn it. Good. Terrain. You need lots of snow. We'll just colour all this in. I'd say try and stick inside the lines, but I've already failed that. Still got too much rock. That's good. Yes, they love that. And it's got a massive area for them to play in. Um, we do want to get you some nature in there. I've not got donation doodars, Dan. Let's get donation doodars. Um, where do we want them? Let's get them on this art a bit first. I'm not going to put another one there. It's just overkill. I already do massive amounts of over... Yeah, ignore what I just said about not doing overkill. There we go. We are going to need some actual bins up here as well. We'll just have these on the outside. I'm going to try and keep them somewhat uniform. It's alright, I've got a weird pattern in my head that I'm doing. I'm lining them ones up that way. And then one's up that way. And then we can have one more there. We're going to need actual bins up here because you know the dirty little animals, and I don't mean the ones that are in the cage, are going to litter everywhere. Mechanics research is complete. That'll be barriers finished off, will it not? Way too many bins. But I don't care. It's... An animal has escaped. I bet that's the goddamn timber wolves. A flamingo? How the hell has a flamingo escaped? Just emergency capture it. How? I mean, they've got wings. Surely they can just fly over it. Low welfare and stressed. Um, by this point, we should have the... Yeah, we do. The one-way windows. That should be right. And there's nowhere else you can see into that habitat. What does it look like if we do this? We can't do this. Fair enough. Excuse me. It's alright. My phone is actually on silent, so you won't hear it go off. That's why I've got to keep checking, in fact. Balance it against my speaker. Well, it's not my speaker. It's my volume controller. But, anyhow... 
Research is complete. That's obviously barriers finished. I'm not really that fussed about anything else. Habitat, staff, facilities. I'm lying. We want that and we want that. You're stressed. You should de-stress. There we go. Very soon. Can we get back to the Timberwolves? And there's still gaps, even though I went massively overkill with it. God damn it. Right, we're sorted up there now. You love your shelter. We were sorting some nature out, weren't we? Because I got the donation bins all the way around. Yes, I did. Um, continents. We want not Africa, Europe, North America, and Asia. And our biomes are Tegia, Tundra, and Temperate. Just to double check. Yes, they are. Have we got any of these big trees yet? Mm, right there. You know what? We'll throw some Christmas trees in. They're not actually called Christmas trees, but we'll throw some in anyway. They're just pine trees, aren't they? Black spruce tree. Black? They're not black, they're green. I am trying to throw it around the outer walls where people aren't going to be watching or viewing quite as much. We'll get a couple of little ones in there. And we're going to have to throw some around this side. But we're getting the smaller ones. Blackthorn bush. It's not really the sort of bushes I want in there. Bramble bush. Can we get anything a little bit... There we go. A little bit bigger. Just giving them random patches of greenery. Did not mean to do that, but it does look like it's just a bit of a thicker bush. Yeah, this isn't looking brilliant, is it? I'm not a fan of them bushes, looking at them now. How about we mix it up a bit with these? See if we can even it out a bit and not make it look as crazy. Just dot some of these back so they're really not that fussed. Oh, I just pressed my Windows key. That is not what I meant to do. Apologies. <laughs> I meant to press Control Z. There we go. Oh my days. The spam clicking is failing for me today. Just get some tree stumps where it looks like we've had trees and then they've chopped it down. Can we get some of these ones as well? It was a nice woodland forest area in the middle of a desert until we came and cut trees down. Uh, so that's all that. that's nice for you. And we just need food, water. Because you don't need a shell to do you. No, no you do not. Um, food and water. We'll get a large tray. I'll throw it over this way. And you can have a few water thingamajigs. Just because it is a rather large habitat. One in each corner should be okay. Enrichment. What have we got for you? We've got a bamboo feeder. You can have a couple of them. The keeper for this is going to be a little bit overwhelmed to start with. unless uh, Until they get some promotion. You're only having one box. Because who really wants to play with the box? A um, couple of balls. They seem a little bit more fun. One of them. And sprinklers. So that's the Timberwolf habitat set up and all running nicely. <clears throat> We're still bringing cash in, are we not? 28,000, 25,000, yeah. Staff are having to queue to use the facility. Oh my God. It's the mechanics every time. I've got to um, two mechanics places, research centers, whatever they're called, and they still use the same space hey. anyway that research is complete we'll have a look at that in a minute because i want to finish getting the tundras so we can hopefully get silver today because we were meant to get it yesterday and we didn't let's get a little bit of a curve going around there i 
Um, yeah, we can go straight around that bit. Let's keep the curves on a little bit. Need to shorten that down just a touch. Because then we're going to come back round this way. Then can we bring it off a little bit more straight. Then we can go back to 10 meters or so. A little bit of a arc round that way. And we can finish it off with a straight wall there. Yet another weird concoction. It'll be fine. Every time. Every time I want to select the barriers, I do that nonsense. Uh, there we go. Windows. How big is this? Just out of curiosity. 1352. Let's have a look for another... Are you Tundra? No. Tagir and Temperate. Unfortunate. Siberian Tigers. Reindeer could work. We have only got one male and female. I'm fairly sure they're going to be Tundra. Tagir Tundra. We're going to get some reindeers in. How big of an area do they need? I really should have checked that one as well. Because we're not going to be able to give them any more room. Oh, you require no room whatsoever. Lush. Right, we'll have Bjorn. And we'll have Aino. So they're the only two reindeer we've got at the minute. And we can select both of these. Send to zoo, get in there. And that's going to be silver. You can be reindeer. We're going to get a new member of staff, a keeper. Whoa. Didn't say you could go anywhere yet, sunshine. And you can have there, 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 there. You can be reindeer. We can unpause the game. We can get some more promotions going because it's been a little while. We've nearly done with promotions now. I hate you dudes. <laughs> I actually hate you. Very nearly finished. Um, let's get placing the screens and stuff while we wait. One there, one there. And then we'll go every other pillar like we normally do. I can see the reindeers coming in. So I will mute myself in a second so you can listen to our Bernie. Congratulating us on our silver star. Good work. I hope you've made all the necessary preparations for those new animals. <laughs> they really won't enjoy the Mexican weather. <laughs> They're a lot like Nancy, really. Heavens! The expansion and improvements really are continuing apace. I'll be honest. The way you're running this zoo makes me wonder if my job's even needed. <laughs> well, needed or not, I'm sticking around. If only to see what you do next. <laughs> oh, and uh, for the free churros in the staff canteen. <laughs> Ooh, those guest education boards are really doing the trick. I swear, some of the facts I hear the guests excitedly talking about were even news to me. <laughs> Isn't modern energy technology amazing? Here's us, with our very own North Pole in the middle of Mexico, and it isn't using a single watt of non-renewables. Incredible! Oh, well, that's one heck of a difference you've made to our conservation rating. Well done! You've really got our guests to dig deep and contribute generously to our coffers. Just shows how much they believe in what we're doing. <laughs> Magnificent. Can I talk now, Bernie? Have you finished? That was him talking about all the um, things we've just ticked off in gold, I assume. We will have a look momentarily. But I want to finish getting my speakers down first. We're going to have so much overlap here. That's why on my franchise I preferred going for the 10 wide. Just because then you know there's going to be no overcross. 
Crossover? Overcross. What the hell is Overcross? Hmm. Um, I guess we can unpause the game now as well. Don't know why I actually had it paused again. Oh yeah, because the reindeers aren't set up. That's why. We don't want them to get unhappy and then get protesters. Because we've been doing well. Can't remember the last time we had a protester either. And what did I say last episode about we've not had animals break out in a while? And then we have that one rogue flamingo. Just bursting out. It's alright, I can hear a random weird noise. I don't know what it is though. And then Luna's staring at me as if to say, what's that noise? Uh, no power. Means you get deleted. That's why I deleted the other screen, in case you're wondering. Um, yes, we are good. Apart from donation bins, we are very nearly good. One there. One there and one there, why not? Just because there's no screen there doesn't mean I'm going to throw another donation bin in. We don't need that many donation bins. Although, actual bins would be required a little bit more around this way. And again, no reason for one there. In fact, we can move that one onto the end there. So it doesn't look quite as um, cramped. Nope, didn't want habitats. We wanted bins. So we're good for this end. We're good over that side. We just need a couple down this way. There we go. That's your bins sorted. Anything else? Or can we get into the, uh, the reindeer development now? I know you're low welfare, that's why I've got the game paused. Uh, ma -ma 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 -ma. Habitats, clear that off. What time are we on? Because I've got a habit of getting very carried away with this game at the minute. A reindeer are right there. I am going to give you a slightly bigger shelter. And then you... I did put food and water in the timber wolf's doodah. It might only be a small area. But I'm going to overkill him. With hair, hair conditioning? Yes, hair conditioning. Hair conditioning. Anyway. Never mind. Can you get out of the middle of my screen, please? We'll have that in there. We'll have that in there as well. Probably should have put it the other way around, but it doesn't really matter. Terrain. Snow. I can fully see people complaining that it's cold down here. You know what? It's probably not that often that you guys see snow. We'll just freeze all of it up a little bit. Why not? Most of this won't actually look like snow, just so you know. It's only where our coolers reach to. But we might as well make it look festive. need to be careful now because I don't think the camels would appreciate the snow there we go now you know you're coming into the snowy area I've just ruined that for grizzly bears haven't I no good alright back to fixing the reindeers up uh, your train is wonderful you've got loads of room your hard shelter is brilliant you want an environment it's probably going to be a similar sort of deal to the last ones I'm just going to give you some small Christmas trees. We're not going to go overkill in here. Bramble bushes are a little bit on the small side. Just go with a few of these. And then we'll go for a different size bramble bush. That's not bad. Throw that one there. That one can go there. That'll do for foliage, I think. Mm, what enrichment do we have for you? We've actually got a lot of it. I apparently missed a little bit of snow. Either that or the coolers aren't working there properly. Always prefer animals that we've got nothing down for yet. Because then I can just throw everything in. And know we're going to be good. There's a skittle. 
There's a skittle and unbox. That research is complete. Wonderful news. <clears throat> Beautiful. Golden poison frog and the Nyla. Didn't I finish two things last time? Uh, you can go on there. You can go on there. Luckily that landed where I wanted it to. Where's the golden poison frog? It's that one, isn't it? Is your nutrition low again? Social health. You like to live on your own. Um, it was the first one we put in. It's these dudes. Uh, you can have the good food. And then we'll see what enrichment you've got already. Habitat. Clear that off. Species. Let's go. So, you've only got a small barrel feeder. So you can have one of them. And one of them. Toys. You've got a rubbing pillar and a herb scent marker. You can have... No, because it put that in the tree. You can have a couple of them. We'll have a plant screen right in the middle. And that is good for you. It was the hippos, wasn't it? And we got those finished. Let's see what we've got left to do for gold then. Adopt and place two new polar bears. You know what? We're going to do it. We're going to do it this episode. We're going to have a huge, huge area over this way. And then we're going to get gold this episode as well. Should we bring it off of there? It's a little bit... No, it's not a little bit taller than last time. Right, this is going to come all the way out. Because we want it to be right in the middle of the habitat. And then the first thing I'm going to do is put the power down. Literally, that is what I meant about planning. Education rating, done. Renewable power, done. Conservation rating, done. Yearly profit, done. We... Excuse me. We ticked everything off in one sitting. There. That was pretty amazing. Can I get this to just... Yeah, do that. And then I know what power range I've got to work with. Um, I would prefer it to keep the power range on. Just so I can see. Let's go two meters because I'm keeping angle snapping on anyway. fact we want it to come down to one there then back up to two it's got to be symmetrical so that's where all the education stuff's going to be and then we've just got to give them an absolutely astoundingly big area to play with um, barriers you know what these are going to have concrete it is probably going to be square. We're on 10 meters. No. It's going to be a big habitat. Let's get big walls. In fact, I'm going to start from underneath the bridge, dead center. No. Can I lower the height of it? I cannot. It does let me do it. Tell you what then. Put that there. And put that there. That's how we'll go with it. Right, let me get angle snapping on.
I think, yeah, just huge square around it. Let's break that off and come this way a little bit more. Um, bring that back one. We want to keep the r tops of these aligned. In fact, in that case, I'm going to bring it all back. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's the problem we end up with. Um, from this point, we will swap that. So then we can keep it at that height from there. And then I want to come from this end. I hope this is going to be big enough. One, two, three, four. Four, five, six. Oh yeah, obviously it's not going to work out. I know exactly what I'm going to do in a second as well. And it's gone weird. Go there. One, two, three, four. And then that's the gap we had the other side. We're going to have to select everything. Apparently not. There's no way for me to now just snap all of them to the same height, is there? Well, why are you adjusting that one? I don't need you to adjust that one. I know why it's being a pig. There. Why does it keep doing this? Stop it. Stop it. I want this. All the way around to there. Maybe not around to there then. Yeah, then walls are level. Then walls are level. And then we can go from there. I've lost my grabber thing. All the way around to there we can raise that up apparently I didn't want that one over there so it's from that one onwards and we'll go around to there and then we can bump that up so it should all be the same height now It should all be the same height now. No, don't want that bit. There we go. Wow. Mega bad there. You know what? That'll do. Um, where can we get our barrier in? Well, it might as well go just around the back here. And then nobody else has got to see it, apart from our keepers. Uh, you need to be down to the smallest. And we can come around there like that, and around there like that, and then straight in. How big? 20,000. Didn't really need it to be that big. Adopt and play. Oh, I've got to adopt the pandas as well. Um, well, we can get a filter on then, can't we? The pandas, the polar bears, close. Apparently. Oh, they're right at the bottom. They might be expensive, but you know what? I'm going to take both of them. One male, one female. We're getting gold this episode. We may go on a little bit longer than normal, but 
Who even cares anymore? We're going to sort this. We're going to sort this. So we want... Polar bear. Oh, my brother's just gone on to Rust. He'll be checking to see if we've been raided. <laughs> you guys can't see my Steam notifications up there. I've got that turned off. But we could. We could. Um, I want to make a new work zone. I want to put one of my most experienced staff on this. You, 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 you. Polar bear. There we go. That is, it's like the same size as most of the rest of the, it's at least the same size as half of the zoo. That is ridiculous. Um, a fully fledged keeper. We'll take you off of something easy. We'll take you off of the aardvarks. We'll put you on polar bears, give you a little bit of a change. Then we'll get a new keeper. And you can be put on to aardvarks. Wherever they are. There. Beautiful. Right, let's get the polar bears in. We know for a fact they're going to want snow. So, there we go. I'm not going to ruin anything, am I, by doing it over this way? No. No, I'm not. Paint, paint, paint. Because we have got to get their welfare up as well. Might as well paint all of this bit in. Welcome to the North Pole of the desert. Common warthogs are fighting. I'm not that concerned, honestly. Come on. Oh, doesn't it look so nice? All pure and white. I, say, I did select the polar bears to be moved in, didn't I? Yep, I see the dude running. Habitat. Ooh, clear that off. Species. Polar bear. There's no reason to pause it. Good God, we're going to need so many. I'm just going to have them so they're all overlapping. That's not quite overlapping. It'll be fine. It's going to be an expensive habitat, but it's going to be worth it. This may take but a second. What time are we actually on? We're nearly at 40 minutes. Like I say, this one's going to run a little bit longer. Because we're going to get all of it sorted and set up. Just under the path. Just under the path. I bet it's going to have all the weird gaps in the train as well. Overcrowding. Uh, that may be something I need to sort out. You know what? Let's get less accurate with it. And just throw them in. And this is all powered with a single wind turbine. We're going to have to have one more around. Oh, now we're getting sloppy with it. Don't mean to be doing that. Excuse me. Um, warthogs are fighting due to overcrowding. Well, for starters, we don't want all these males... Can you scroll up, please? Um, we'll get rid of Jaja, and we'll get rid of Chatter, and then I'm going to get rid of... Um, one, two, three, just because, really. That fixes all them issues. Mechanics research has been completed. Not that we're going to need it. Vets research has been completed. Not that we're going to need it. And we can get back to sorting the polar bears out. So that should be more than enough space for you. Yeah, just barely. Oh, I forgot you need water. 2,000. We'll have this bottom corner. In fact, no, I liked it last time in the middle. When we had the little lake in the middle. Not doing this all evenly and whatever. Looks a little bit dicey in the middle. 
one box. We don't want you in the box. Yeah, it looks a little bit dodgy, but I like it. It's not a perfect square or anything like that. Environment. We're definitely going to pad this out with some environment. And I'm definitely... Went a little bit ambitious there and got rid of one of the heaters. Coolers, whatever they are. Um, do 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 Nature. We've still not got Arctic. Well, we're going to have to go Aquatic and Tundra. Damn it. Aquatic and Tundra. Trees, trees everywhere. You're going to have your own little forest. So there's some of them. Some of them. I fully expect people complaining that they can't see. Or get a good view of the polar bears. It'll be fine. Let's get some iced rocks in there. Don't want too many of the same ones. I will stick with the $20 ones then. Just because they're nice and chunky and you can see them from a distance. That should be enough for them. I mean, I don't know how much vegetation they used to from the Arctic. That's probably why we've not got it. Anybody else know of many plants that grow in the Arctic? Personally, I don't know of many. Any, even. Not many. Mm, it's just a load of stones. <laughs> Lilies growing in the Arctic. Yeah, right. You know what? I think that'll be good. We don't want to overkill them with uh, all of the uh, stuffs. You didn't need a habitat, did you? Well, no, because they don't normally get a habitat, do they now? Um, bamboo feeder, you can have a few of those dotted around. You can have a couple of these at either end. You can have a couple of these at either other end. Then you've got cardboard box, cardboard box. I'm trying to put the toys closer to the middle. Because then I'm hoping it's going to lure them in so people can actually see them. And we can get a football there and a football there. You know what? Probably should have put some more toys in the middle. There you are. Have another one of each of the boxes. In fact, you can have another one of these as well in the middle. You know, those polar bears are going to be incredible ambassadors for our cause. Just make sure they don't escape. That would be quite the diplomatic incident. Oh, I know how hard it was to get the zoo to this point. But trust me when I say it was worth the effort. Giving people the opportunity to see these magnificent animals up close, particularly those from the Arctic, makes them so vividly real that the guests can't help but empathize with them. That connection is important because if we want to have any chance of saving these species, ensuring that they aren't just some distant legend for future generations, then everyone will have to do their part. These animals, these incredible, noble animals, they need our help. So, do you think you've done your part? Or is there perhaps yet more that you can do? Well, that's up to you, isn't it? Well, it seems like that's it from uh, Mr. Bernie, doesn't it? He doesn't seem to have anything else to say on the matter. I'm just throwing some bits and bobs around for now. We'll get one on that corner, one in the middle, one on that corner. One there, one there, one there. I'm not going to bother throwing all the screens and stuff down because you know for a fact it's not really going to matter anymore, is it? Because that's it. We've got Gold Star on the two new scenarios as well. It's almost a shame, really, isn't it? Almost a shame. Yeah, that'll be fine. What are people saying about the habitat? Can you even see... Now, where is the polar bear? You can't even tell if there's a polar bear from here. The view from the polar bear here is not great. Well, I didn't think you'd like it, but 
I'm not being funny. If you think how wide the other habitats are, that is about the same distance. And that is, you've just got to walk around it a little bit more. And you can see people are flooding down this way for it. You know what? I will finish it off a little bit more properly than this. Um, we want that, 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 and that. And duplicate. We'll get some screens in here. I can't tell which side's front with these, then. Oh, you come. It'd help if there wasn't people all over the damn thing. There we go. Holy Jesus. Speaker volume. Right up. You, polar bear. And then, this gets so much easier. So we can just duplicate that. And, realistically, it needs to go a little bit further out. There we go. Once I see the feet plant in the floor, I know we're fine. Yeah, let's move this one out a little bit. Why are you stood behind it? It's still right. Yep. Many guests think tickets are underpriced. <laughs> I wonder why. Is it because we've got a polar bear in the middle of a desert? Maybe. Just maybe. Alright, this gets so much quicker now that I've already got it set up. Um, no. I like to have the coolers flying. You've not seen that. You've not seen it at all. I mean, we've got to give them all education. How often are these guys going to see polar bears? Not very is the answer to that one. Not very at all. So yeah, we're giving the zoo a proper send-off by getting these all fully kitted out. And that one can go there. One more. Only four objects. Beautiful. And I'm amazed I didn't have that phone call while I was recording. Because other than one more episode of something else, I think that's going to be it for uh, my recording today. This is already the fourth episode I've done, so... Oh, dear. Oh, sorry about that. Just needed one last good stretch. Can't believe people aren't coming down here more. You'd probably want to get some transport in. <laughs> what have I placed wrong? Oh! I didn't change that. I'm a buffoon. They're learning about timber wolves while at the polar bears. That'd be slightly confusing, wouldn't it? Watching the screen and it being about polar bears and the speakers are telling you about something else. Well, I'm glad it told me before we finished off because that would have been rather silly to end, wouldn't it? But we've got lots of education. Everything is good. He said about it must have been difficult doing this zoo, but honestly, this was one of the easiest zoos I've done. And again... I don't know if it's just because of the amount of experience that I've got on the game now or what, but... Oh, yeah, that is a slight problem. Um, it just seemed very easy this time. You're without power. Water treatment failed. Oh, my days. Well, it all went to pot right at the end. You know what? I'm going to be dead cheeky. Put that straight up to 40. Can we have one round of promotions for my um, last staff? It's so much easier that I decided to do that as well. So yeah, the idea is that I'm going to go back to um, a franchise zoo. And do it slightly differently to last time. We'll see, I'll think about it, I'm not sure yet. I don't really want to leave this series slot, well this time slot blank. Because it is one of my... Um, well, full-time series, so I don't know. 
at this point I have already started recording Astroneer. I may even swap that to the full-time one because I can crack loads of episodes out of that and I'm really enjoying playing it now that I understand what's happening. <clears throat> and in fact, in yesterday's episode, not yesterday's episode, Thursday's episode, I was a little bit of an idiot. I went and did a little bit of uh, checking up on Google and I understand the game even more now. So yeah, I may make that a full-time one and do another game as something else. We'll see. But that's going to be it for this um, this zoo, this episode, and this series for now because there's no more DLC. So thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed the episode, the series, and all of it, please feel free to leave a like and definitely leave me some comments. Let me know what you think I could have done better, anything like that. I'm always open to um, constructive criticism. Um, if you want to see more content along the lines of this, then... Um, obviously subscribe to the channel. I'm actually tempted to go back to Planet Zoo now and see if I can learn how that game's meant to work properly. So I understand, did I say Planet Zoo then or Planet Coaster? I meant Planet Coaster if I said Planet Zoo because it's a similar style game and I always wanted to get into it, I just never managed it. But now that I've got experience in this style of game, maybe, just maybe we could make it work. But yeah, I'm rambling so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers!